88.9 WLRY, the Friday Night Rock Block. Very special guest joining us now, Mitch McVicker. And uh, welcome. Thank you for contacting us, talking to us today. First of all, uh, we want to talk a little bit about a show that you got coming up. You'll be coming to Powell, Ohio at beautiful Savior Church. And tell us a little bit about that concert, Mitch. First of all, thanks for having me, Mike. Sure. I'm grateful for the opportunity to talk to you. The, the concert on August 19th, Darren Powell is a part of a, a tour that I'm doing this August. Uh, let's see, it's 20 concerts in 21 days, and we're going to four, all four time zones, and we'll, we'll get to be coming through there. And I, I have three other musicians traveling with me and playing with me, and um, it's it's a simple approach. Um, yeah hopefully real artful and, and hopefully through the songs and, and uh, what is shared in between. Um, hopefully it points towards Jesus and um, and hopefully we don't take ourselves too seriously, but, but try and do something good and something fun. You know, a lot of people relate to you through Rich Mullins and co-writer with Rich on a, on a lot of his hits. And I would take it best friends with, with Rich during his life. How, how did you guys come to meet? I met Rich when I was in college. I, I was a good bit younger than, than Rich, and Rich had come back to school after a number, number of years. We met in a class and became friends, and and then we happened to graduate at the same time, and he asked me if... If I would move out to New Mexico, he wanted to live um, on the Navajo Reservation out in New Mexico and work on a mission, and um, and I, I agreed to do that. I had no idea what I, what I would be doing, but uh, I had no idea if I'd be cleaning at his kitty litter box or what, <laughs> but lo and behold, I ended up uh, playing some music, um, traveling with him, and, and we, we would spend a few days during the week. Uh, working out there, and um, and it was a great a great time that was uh, really impactful, and, and Rich was really influential upon me. And I'm gracious for uh, the opportunity to to get to um, work with him, and and, and I'm trying to go about things in the same essence as Rich um, now. Did you travel a lot when you were with Rich? Were you on the road a lot? Yeah, we were. Uh, basically, the rhythm was we would uh, go and do concerts on the weekends and come back and and be there during the week. Um, so, yeah, it was a lot of in and out and traveling, you know, across the country and even overseas some. Um, and, um, and so, yeah, it was a... It was kind of a whirlwind for for a young dumb kid that was just out of college, um, but I was trying to uh, soak it all in and um, relish as much as I could. And and then um, in '97, I was involved in I was in the car that uh, the car wreck that killed Rich, and so that that was a uh, that has been a sense boost for me um, since then and, and after. After a long recovery, I'm grateful to be where I'm at now. Yeah, and, you know, one of the uh, videos that I've watched on YouTube, I, it's just very good, and that is the cup stacking that you do with the uh, song Submarine when you used to tour with Rich. How did how did that all come about? That's that's a lot of fun, and I see a lot of people doing that nowadays. <laughs> that came about through no other means other than a lot of hard work. <laughs> we, we spent... Thinking back on it, I, I think we must have spent um, at least an hour a day for about four weeks uh, working on working all that. And it's hard to get the cups part of it um, and the rhythm down, but then you have uh, these really tight uh, harmonies on on top of it. Yeah. And uh, so it, it was a it's something that is a lot of fun once you get to the to the, end. <laughs> to the end, but it was a lot of work to get there, but like like I said, I, I was grateful for that, for that opportunity, and to get to be a part of that, and most, uh, most hard things are good, and most good things are hard. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. 
uh, Ragamuffin Band with Rich Mullins, and I understand there is a film coming up. Does the film center around that? There is a film based on is a, a film based on the life of Rich Mullins. Um, kind of, it's a feature film, kind of like the, there was one made about Ray Charles and one made about uh, Johnny Cash, and it's, it's similar to that. Um, and I, I think it's going to be great. It's still in the uh, becoming process, um, but it's it's uh, going to be real good. I got to be a part of it. I, I played myself in the movie, and um, that was. You know, I had I had no real real acting experience, um, but I figured you know they're asking me to play myself. I guess, I guess I can probably pull that off. <laughs> I could do and, that, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, and then I also have a song that's that's um, going to be uh, part of the movie, and well, you know, once again, I'm grateful to get to be a part of that whole project. I'm glad that that. Um, the richest um, message that his life, the way he goes about things, the way the way he pointed towards Jesus um, in as real and authentic way is, is that, that I have ever known. I'm glad that that's going to get out there further. Is there any uh, anticipated release date at this point in time, or is it too early in the project for that? It's it's a little too early, though. Though it has been. Uh, that the process has been going for quite a while. From what I understand, uh, they're going to announce the um, release date here. This is August. In the beginning of fall, they'll announce the release date. Uh, and again, the concert is coming to PAL, Beautiful Savior Lutheran Church, 7 p.m. And you can go to the website, mitchmcvicker.com or beautifulsaviorpal.com for all the details there. Well, brother, thank you so much for joining us and looking forward to a great show out there on August 19th. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for having me, Mike, and, um, and bless you and what you're doing there. And that's Mitch McVicker joining us on the Friday Night Rock Block, 88.9 WLRY. I'm Mike, and to come, we'll be hearing from Lou Graham Band, also Daniel Band, Leslie Sam Phillips on the way, the 77s Petra. And here is Mitch McVicker from his 1999 solo album. This is Here and Now, 88.9 WLRY, the Friday Night Rock Block.